Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So previously we have seen about the class variables that basically what are class variables we have seen this thing. Right, so today we are going to see about the self and init. So basically self and init are called as the constructors. Now what do I just mean from this term that is constructors? What can I say that what is the definition for constructors? So just let me put a comment here and here I would just write the first thing I would just let you know that what is a constructor. So giving arguments to a class is called as constructor. Okay. Giving arguments to a class is called as constructor. So whenever we are giving any arguments to a class, whenever we are passing some arguments into the class, that is called as constructors. Now basically what to be what do I just mean from the term that giving arguments to a class that I would just show you with the help of an example. Okay. So for right now just pay proper attention towards the program which I am going to write now. Right. Okay. So the first one is the self and second one is the init. We are going to discuss both of these today. Fine. So for that what will be my first step. So if I'm just discussing about the classes, the first step would be to make a class. So I would be taking the same class which we have seen previously so that you basically do not get confused in the term. So here I have taken the class that is a student. I would come down. I would make the class variable. So here I would make my class variable as number of subjects, okay, which we have uh, done previously. So that is equal to 5. Let's say I just assign it a value as 5. Now. What uh, init and self, these two are the constructors, right? So uh, when you just want to declare the init, so we write the def, okay? Def is the function, underscore, underscore init. And whenever you will use the init function, self will automatically be passed inside that function, okay? Now just keep this thing in mind. Whenever you are making a class and inside that class, you are using the constructor that is init. So basically self will automatically be passed as an argument as a parameter inside the init function, right? I hope you are listening to me very carefully. So just listen it very carefully. I'm just again repeating whenever you are going to make a class. So in that class, basically what will happen whenever you are just going to make the init function. So self will automatically be passed as an argument or basically as a parameter. Fine. This is about the init and the self functions, right? I would just come down here and here itself, I would just write some values, right? So here I would just give as a name, comma, a standard. Basically, I'm just giving it of my choice, whatever you just want. That you can just give it. Okay. Now here I have, I have one more thing, one more question for, for you all. That basically, let's say you have made a class that is a student, right? Now in that student class, basically you want to enter the details for 10 students. Okay, for 10 students. So what will you do? You will make the 10 objects. That is okay. Till this point you can do. But what is uh, what is what will you do when you need to write one dot name, one dot standard, one dot section, then two dot name, two dot standard, two dot section, moving towards the three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Will you be able to do that thing? No, that is not possible, right? True, manually, it is absolutely not at all possible. Okay, you can do it for 10. What about 20, 30, 40, 50? What about these numbers? So in that case, basically, this self and init functions are used. And at that place, we basically use the constructors, right? Now, how to use that thing? That I am just showing you right now, okay? So just have a little bit of patience at what I am doing. It is just properly see towards it, okay? And even here, I would pa I have passed name standard and here I would just pass a section. Okay, come down. Here, I would just use my cell. So whenever we just declare the cell, okay, whenever we just like write the init function and use the cell, uh, like pass the parameter as the cell. So we always use the cell to access the parameters which are present inside the init function. So here I would just write self dot name. Self dot name is equal to a name. Okay, so whenever you just want to declare the name, so at that place you will write self dot name is equal to a name. Self dot standard is equal to a standard. This one, okay. 
and at the third self dot section is equal to a section that is done right so till now i have made my class i have used my init and my self functions that is okay now i would just come down here i have declared the name section and standard now if i just want to print all of these three so in that case what i would be doing so in that case i would be making one more function let's say that function is details now just pay attention pay proper attention towards the screen here i have written def then details and as soon as i would just put the bracket so self will automatically be passed inside that bracket see i put the bracket and self is automatically passed here because i have used my init constructor here fine so in this case i would simply use my print statement and i would just use the f string so here i would just write uh, okay i would just write name of the student is and in the bracket what i would be passing i would be passing self dot name because in that parameter only a name is stored right in this self dot name variable this a name is stored and a name is one of the parameters which i have argument which i have passed inside my function so whatever the value i would be writing for it that would point to self dot name so i would be writing self dot name inside the bracket okay so here i would be writing self dot name okay i would just put a space here i would put a comma comma and then the standard standard is and again the bracket so here it will be self dot standard and at last and and section is the section is and in the bracket it would be self dot section okay so self dot section right so here i just completed the sentence i would just come back down here now i would just come down and now i would make the object for my class now just pay attention towards it a little more let's say i made the object that is one okay i would use the name of my class that is a student now inside this student class what i would be passing i would be passing the name the standard and the section so now i need not to write one dot name one dot standard one dot section i need not to do that thing simply i would make the object of the class which i want and inside my brackets for the class i would be writing all the details now here this details what the details which i am going to write here let's say that one is first one is ria i would put a comma first was name second was standard let's say 10th is the standard okay and let's say the section let's say section is a now where is this ria pointing this ria is going and pointing to the a name okay this a name is the one where this uh, ria is pointing and that has been saved in self dot name okay ria has been now saved ria the name that is here that has been sa saved in the self dot name because self dot name is equal to a name and the, the string which i have passed for the a name is ria so it is automatically been saved in self dot name and in the print statement which i have used in the details right so here self dot name is present so at this place this will be overwrite by the ria fine if i just want to make more uh, objects so what i would just do i would just write two again then i would again write the student class and in the bracket i would again pass all the details whichever i want this is the procedure this this one is easy right now you just cannot uh do the previous thing for 20 or 50 but you can just do a little bit of thing for this one this is much easier than the previous one okay let's say i'm just making two here only and now here in the print statement if i just want to access the details so i would just write print one dot details okay now i would just run my program here for a while so as soon as i just write wrote uh, print uh, one dot details so what it just let me go above now okay so as soon as i just wrote that uh, print the details for the one okay just let me come down here and show you that i had printed here print one dot details right as soon as i just do that so it is giving me name of the student is ria so check in one we have written the name as ria fine come to the second a comma standard is 10 so in ria we have entered the standard as 10 and for the third one and the section is a 
So for Rhea, we have entered the section as A. Fine. This is basically how you can just access these uh, like things. And here you, if you just want to access only one element, then also you can just do that. So I would just comment the above one for a while here. And here, let's say I want to access only one. I want to one, oh, access only the name for the second object, where well, that is two. So I would just write two dot name. And when I would just run this program, it will result me as the output as Sima, right? So Sima is the name which is stored in the two, right? In the second object, Sima is the name that is stored. Fine. So this is basically how you can use the self and init functions. Now, where I have made the constructor. Now, just read the definition for a constructor giving arguments to a class is called as constructor. And now check the line number 14 and line number 15, these two lines. Here, what I am doing, a student is the name of my class, right? And inside that, what I am passing, I am passing the arguments. So, what I am doing, I am giving the arguments to a class. And basically, this procedure is called what? This procedure is actually called as constructors, right? So, I hope I just made this thing very clear to you about the constructors about the self and about the init functions right so i would just stop here for a while and this is all for this video till then thank you and take care